I'm going to show you how to beat your first Lionel. This kind of spreads to all of the Lionels. I think I haven't faced the final silver one yet. A few things that you're going to want to have before you start this fight. I also died here last night, so don't worry about the relics. We're probably not going to die right here because I've got a pretty good read on how this is all going to work now. Make sure you bring Tulin as a follower. He will occasionally, and during most fights, at least once give you a free stun on the Lionel. So this guy is really good for this fight, so just make sure you bring him along. If you don't know how to get this guy, progress the story. <laughs> Stop killing Lionels before you progress the story. Progress the story. Um, in addition, you are going to want a Lionel slaying weapon, which I assembled in the previous video. Just in case you don't haven't done that yet, I will flash a card up right now. Bring a good shield, preferably the Hylian shield. Uh, this is a repair. This is repairable, and there's a duplication sheet right now. So go ahead and do that if you need to. Bring the Hylian shield. It will last the fight. So just make sure you have one of those with you as well. Any bow is fine. But there is one um, type of ammunition that I'm going to highly recommend that you bring along. And that is the Keys Eyeball. You're going to see how effective this is from behind on this guy during this fight. So the idea here is to mostly be defending his attacks. When he stops after one of his special attacks, so when he like, is like running around and doing swipes, you don't do it then. But when he like does like a charge and then he has to stop at the end of it, that is when you're going to whip the bow out, put a keys arrow on it, and just release it at the back of his head. That's going to stop him in his tracks and make it so that you can mount him. Mount him, hit him on the back of the head with the Lionel weapon, and that is how we are going to win. Probably going to end up cutting in between my fight here and um, the one that I actually kind of did last night with the stream where people were kind of giving me advice. You can see he detects us, and he's not really all that aggressive until we get closer, and we have to draw a weapon. So I am going to choose to draw a weapon, put it away, and then start blocking. This guy will one-shot you, so there's not really very much point in high levels of armor. Something else, now that we are mid-fight, I'm so sorry, is to make sure you have attack up three in some way. I obviously have the Barbarian set on, but you could also be using food for this. I have guides for this all over the channel, so you guys can uh, pick and choose whichever method that you want, but this is just way easier. The cool thing is, you can actually eat whilst you're on his back, so once you've knocked him down, you can get on there, consume the food, and then continue the fight. So, here right now, whilst I'm kind of in live mode, you can see he's kind of running around doing his swipes. This is not the time where you really want to be doing any attacks on him at all. Even though, look, you see he goes into the charge, but now he has a, a stop moment. So there is where we want to try and get a bow, up, a, a bow shot off. Immediately switch back, because it doesn't always work. But that is the best time to go for shot. Don't like any of this. Nope, we're not going with any of that. You sir need to uh, come up with a different strategy. So let's go for his charge. We can do it again. Put the bow away. Come on. He's really not giving me very much uh, leeway here. When he does the fire, we can actually use the updraft if we want to. Whoops, that was bad. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, we can actually use the updraft to go on up as well. There we go. So when that happens, we want to get on his back. Make sure you've got your attack level 3 on. And give him a load of slaps. And then all we need to do is rinse and repeat that, and we'll have a victory. I would like to see Tullin give him a stun during this battle. To be honest, here we go. He's going to go for a charge. Where are we? for a second thing there. Come on, Tolan, give us a stun. I want I want I want people to see. That's gonna be a good time. So, I'm sure there are people going to be, like, complaining they're not doing any flurries, I'm not doing any parries. We're not doing any bullet time stuff. I wanted to make this as accessible for as many people as I could. 
So he's going to do a charge now. We need to make sure we're out of the way of that. Give me another good time. Nest again. It's really not working as consistently as it did from before. He's doing his fire thing. There's another good attack as well. Uh, from the front, he'll like rear back and he's going to do like his fire breathing thing. That's also seemingly quite a good time to get it. There we go. There's a stun. Get in the back there. Give him a slap. And immediately on with the blocking because he's not going to be happy. Oh, there it is. So if you're quick with that, you can easily get a one on when he's doing the charge up as that as well. You do need to be quick with it though. I don't think we got that one in. The last one I don't really want to show is just Tullin. I want Tullin to stun him now just so you guys can see that he does it. Oh man, why are you like running in a really weird direction? That's unusual. Why has it done that? That's so weird. Right, I need you to disengage for a second so I can like reset my camera. There we go. Nope, come on, run off. I need you to do one of your charging crazy attacks, come on. That'll do. Cool, in with the bow. That's probably gonna be the last one now. Give him a slap. And that is going to be your first Lionel victory. Really should be easy. Almost no skill involved. Just let the keys arrow and the Hylian shield do the work.